The dates in column D are formatted as texts, so Excel is unable to recognize them as dates. Some months are spelt wrongly, and there are single and double digit days. Now, this looks like something Flash Fill should be able to fix if it identifies a pattern in the data. So I'll enter a couple of examples and press Ctrl E to fill down. Sometimes Flash Fill gives incorrect results, just like this. So in the next few minutes, you'll see how Power Query and Formulas can fix the format of these dates. And if you have a different approach, please feel free to share the knowledge in the description box below. The first step is to load the data into Power Query. Right click anywhere in the table and select Get Data from Sheet. Power Query already detected and changed the data type. I'll delete that because it's not needed. Now, there are several methods you can use to clean the date. However, I'll use the column from example method, which is similar to flash fill. So select the column you want transformed, go to the add column tab and click on column from examples. Select from selection, so suppose you select the wrong column, you can use the checkbox to select the correct column, okay? Now, just like flash fill, enter a sample of the date format in the first cell. Press the down arrow to move to the next cell and enter the correct format. Power Query has identified a pattern and a preview of the data to be auto-filled as appeared. This is not the desired format, so enter another sample. The preview looks okay now, so press Ctrl and enter. And now we have the date. The good thing about this is that it didn't require writing long formulas. Power Query wrote it in the background. And if you're interested in the M code, you can view it right here in the formula bar. Let's do some housekeeping. This column is not needed anymore. So right click and remove. Let's rename this date. Click this icon to change the type to date. Now go to the home tab and close and load to. I'll place it right next to the data source. Cool. Now the format is year, month and day. You can change it if you want. Select the column, press Ctrl Shift and three to get the day, month, and year format. Now, the cool thing is that when new information is added to this data, I'll get one from another tab. All you have to do is right click and select refresh and the table gets updated. Isn't that cool? Let's look at formulas. To convert this text to date, you need the date function. The date function has three arguments, year, month, and date. So the first thing you need to do is extract the year with the right function. The year is the last four digits, so it's pretty easy, right? The text is D4 and the number of characters is four. Close the bracket and enter. Double click to copy down. The next step is to extract the month with the mid function. The mid function can extract text from the middle of a text string. Let's look at the argument. Text is D4. The second argument is the start number. And because there are single and double digit days, the start number will vary. So the find function will be used to locate the start number. Watch this closely. We need to find space, which is the separator. Put it in double quotes within the text in D4. You can skip the start number. It will automatically start from the first character. Close the bracket and enter. So space is in the fifth position. To get the position of the first letter of the month, you need to add one to the find function. This means that A is the sixth character in the cell. Copy the formula, copy down, 
So back to the mid function. Mid text is D4. Start number is the find formula. So paste. We only need the first three characters of the month. Close the bracket and enter. Copy the formula. We are not done. The month argument in the date function only takes the number of the month. So the month name has to be changed to the month number. And to do this, we'll use the month function. I'll show you this hack I found on Ablebit. You have to concatenate one and the name of the month to force the month function to convert the month name into the month number. So that will be month one ampersand the mid function. The month function will assume that this is the first of whichever month you select, which makes it return the month number. Close the bracket and copy down. Sometimes you need to break down formulas to understand them. The next step is to extract the day, which is the first two characters for double digit days and the first character for single digit days. Let's start with the left function. Left. Text is D4. The second argument is the number of characters and the find function will help to determine that. So find the position of space in D4 and subtract one to get the position of the character before space. This way, left will extract all the characters before space. Close the bracket, copy the formula. To extract the numbers, you need to determine the length of the text using the len function. So len, paste the left formula. Cool, copy the formula. Now that the length has been determined, the if function will be used to extract the numbers. So if, paste the len formula, that is if the length of characters extracted by the left formula is equal to four, then left text is D4, extract two characters. If false, left D4, extract one character. Close the if function and copy down. So for single digit days, one character will be extracted and for double digit days, two characters will be extracted. Now we can write the date formula. I'll activate the clipboard in the home tab so the formulas can be copied and pasted easily. So copy year, copy month, copy day. I'll hide these columns. So date, year, paste the right function. I'll tab to move to the next line. Month, paste the mid function. I'll tab to move to the next line. Day, paste the if and left functions. Close the bracket for the date function and copy down. Select the column and press Ctrl Shift and three to change the date format. And we're done. To wrap up, Power Query is a better tool to clean date format. I hope you found the video useful. Please subscribe, like, and share the video. I'll see you next time. Bye.